Hey, Rudy. Carl's here. I'm um, like Mari Van Girl ninety three. Yep, and I'm I'm just me, John Flynn, and uh, that occasional guest, and a friend of both Klaus and Sam, and and let, let, let's let's talk about this game that we're talking about that's in hand for us. Anyway, yeah, we're we're all here to talk about like the um, newest installment of the Paper Mario series, uh, Paper Mario Color Splash. Make um, I've recently shown uh, Sam up there a uh, the uh, trailer this game, which um, is kind of bomb, unfortunately. Yeah, it is. It's it's horrible. Especially for a game in the Paper Mario franchise. But do you do you find any like originality with the with with the new game? Because I, I don't see uh, I don't see any at the moment unless otherwise otherwise shown. Compared to Sticker Star, not really. Not much is different from Sticker Star. In fact, the main director of the game herself, I believe, was Reese. I think it was. He said that it was going to be um, pretty much the same thing as Sticker Star. And this game was already in development when Sticker Star was initially released. It got boring after I um after I played Sticker Star. Yeah, I didn't even care for Sticker Star all that much. The overworld was out of place for an RPG game. Not to mention you have to go out and like find certain things, stickers, and use them in uh, appropriate fights at appropriate time. Because otherwise the fight would be pretty much next to impossible. Yeah. Not to mention, um, Luigi was cut down to be like a, a collectible cameo. Which really pissed me off because in the, in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, not only did he did he have his own adventure, that after every chapter he'll tell you a piece of it, but in Petalburg, after you see Hotel, you'll find a small toad like saying like uh, how he hopes there be a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, John, what are your thoughts so far? Yeah, but, uh, it's, but, it, but it's, it's, fif it's been 15 years since the original Paper Mario came out in the U.S. And because next month will mark 16 years since it was originally released in Japan. It was August of 2000 where it was released in Japan and like... And, and like, I, I, I thought like with other Mario games that there would be like more originality, but... So, but based on the reviews I'm seeing, it's not coming. Yeah, like, yeah, 15 years since it's released in the U.S. Um, I grew up with the first Paper Mario game when I was a kid. And it was one of my, it was one of my favorite games on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, it's awesome. Same with, um, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And around the time the uh, it's when Paper Mario came out, yeah, they were trying something new, and it was pretty popular. It was a really good game. And they had a really good story to it. It had a, it had a unique graphic aesthetics to it. it. Had really great party members across the board. Which is actually my problem with uh, Sticker Star. There are no party members whatsoever. I mean, yeah, I had RPG, it had turn based battles and such, but the battles themselves weren't rewarding, and Color Splash but it suffers the same problem. I mean, not, not only do you use cards, not only do you have to select different cards to use different attacks, but you also use up some of your paint in order to, um, to shell some attacks as well. I mean, yeah, you can get that after the battle, but at the same time, you don't get any, like, any experience points, you don't level up. I don't see the point of battles anymore. Like, you can, you can skip just pretty much every battle 
in the game and not suffer any consequences for it. Yeah, I mean, like, like what the fuck, Nintendo? And don't don't even get me started on the theme stickers or theme cards. Um, at the party members in um, those three um, Paper Mario games. I mean, take it like this. They have personalities. Different personalities and such. Like each, they, each of them are different characters. Not only visually, but they all have unique personalities to one another. There, there are no, there are no party members in Sticker Star. Technically, there aren't even any party members in Color Splash. I mean, yeah, there are temporary party members. But they don't even bring all that much to the table. They just become single-use items. Which I don't see how that would add incentive to battle enemies. Uh, like, what is the permanent? Oh yeah, um, I I also have a problem with um this Paper Mario game. They have way too many toads. Yeah, they're all they're all just boring, generic, copy pasted NPCs. Like, yeah, they have different personalities, but how can you tell each to each individual toad apart from one another? I mean, for the most part, they look exactly the same. Except for maybe like one or two exceptions here or there in Sticker Star. One of them was like bent. But come on. Nobody nobody likes the new direction that Paper Mario games has, has taken. There's always a uh, a thing about ideas, and if you run out of ideas for um, for uh, for a certain series, which I, I I can clearly see with Paper Mario, just just go on to a, to a new series of Mario games. Which is exactly what the um, director of Nintendo Nintendo is saying. Like, if you want an RPG, go with Mario and Luigi. Which that's yeah. which that's. And myself is a pro that myself and many others have a problem with. Okay, Can okay. Mario and Luigi is no substitute for um, Paper Mario. They both play differently. They both have different story focuses. Like Mario and Luigi is more like a silly RPG game where you're just pretty much use using the strongest attack you can at any given point. Whereas Paper Mario, you have to really think strategically and like, really plan things out for you to battle effectively. It's more like an action timing thing. And granted, Mario and Luigi is that, is that way too. But they're both completely different RPG series. In themselves. So, I don't understand... Okay, so I don't understand how sla putting in Paper, Paper Mario in with Mario and Luigi was a good idea. I mean, the, just combining the two together, it's just, it's just a recipe for disaster. And Mario Luigi is a failing RPG series as it is. Yeah. Yeah, fail. Me <laughs> 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 So, but but all, all I can say about the, about the game is the lack of originality. Like, there's no creativity that that you you expect more with with the new console. It, I it, I don't see it happening with this one. And that that's all I got. Especially since it's being released on a dying console. Like, is this seriously how you want the Wii U to be to be remembered? Thinking. I mean, 
Yeah. 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 And, 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 and I thought the Wii U was going to be the next, uh, the next big thing, and it probably didn't turn out the way people had expected. Now, Nintendo did expect us to have a lot of sales and have a longer shelf life, but no. Pretty much the uh, only thing from Nintendo this year that I happen to be um, hyped for is Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to the um, Five Zelda game because awesome. Same with I think Pokemon, like Pokemon um, Sun and Moon. Oh yeah, and there's Sun and Moon, but Breath of the Wild is gonna be released next year. Oh. Uh, well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna get into the thing stickers and thing cards. Because of the bosses, you have to have a specific thing just to win, just to win the fight. And these things are pretty much the, the most overpowered thing. Pardon the pun. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a proper, if you have a proper thing, these also have, happen to be the easiest fights in the game. If you don't use that th proper proper thing or don't have it, then it's pretty much next to impossible. Whereas in the past Paper Mario games, prior to Sega Star, I mean, there are a number of ways you can go about fighting, and you can still potentially win the fight. And that's pretty much all I had to say. And that's pretty much all I had to say. Other than the minor, com other than the complaint that I have with Hughes, which is pretty much Kirsty, nobody liked her. And another, and another positive thing that I can say about Color Splash is Toad is freaking dead! Woo! Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, um. Yeah, yeah I mean. If. If, if you guys like. If you guys like. This Pig Morgan, then that's fine. As long as you don't. As long as you're. As long as you don't. Be an asshole about it. And then, I, and then I, and I'm not even saying that Color Splash is going to be a bad game. I'm just saying it's going to be a bad Paper Mario game. Yes. That's all I have to say for now. And that's pretty much all I got. That's it. John, uh, you have anything else? No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm just done. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's all of our thoughts on Paper Mario Color Splash. Um, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Uh, bye. Peace out.